this bind off, which is called the stem stitch bind off, uh, was uh, written about by Elizabeth Zimmerman. And basically, it duplicates what we did at the beginning with the cast on, where we make a loop of light color with our thumb and we knit one stitch in the dark color onto our needle. So that's what I'm going to do in this little sample right now. I've cut the threads, I've cut the dark color, and I'm just going to hang it in the back. And I've cut the light color three times longer than the circumference of my little wrist warmer. I'm going to thread this onto a tapestry needle. And then I'm going to start sewing. Now, this is the very first stitch of my uh, round. This is the second stitch. I'm going to go into that second stitch. I'm not going to going to actually you can see that I'm going into that stitch completely. I pull this through. Let me pull the little tail. And then I go into the back of the first stitch and I go under the sewn thread. Okay, that's one. Now, again, I go into the front of the second stitch, and I go into the, st into the stitch, into the front, and then I go from the back into the first stitch, going under the thread. And I knock that that little stitch off. Okay, into the second stitch and into the back of the first stitch, going under the thread. I'm going to make a few more because we're not quite finished when we do this because it's sort of uh, loose, you could say. So in to the back and then back into the front. And you could see that I'm literally making that loop that I made with my thumb when we did the long tail cast on. Into the second stitch into the first stitch. Okay, now let's have a look at these stitches. Because you can see this looks kind of loose. All you want to do is you want to tighten up those loops. So I'm going to go back and I'm really going to tighten them up actually quite a bit. So that the top edge looks like the bottom edge. You can see both of them here. I can tighten this up even more. And so what you want to do is work about 10 stitches and then tighten it up. Work about 10 stitches and tighten it up. And then you're going to weave in your ends. And I would advise you, if you're using a superwash yarn, such as this uh, DK weight from La Bien Amie, you might want to use something like a textile glue to uh, secure the ends because with superwash yarns the ends kind of want to unravel especially if it's on a stretchy part you have to stretch it over your hand you have to stretch your cowl over your neck you might want to use a just a little touch of textile glue to keep that end from coming out from warming out 